The first step, is to find the best location to install the transducer. This is the easiest when the boat is out of the water. The location should not be downstream of any strakes, struts, fittings, water intake or discharge ports, or anything that creates air bubbles or causes the water to become turbulent. The location should be as close to the center of the boat as possible, but on the side of the downward swing the propeller. On the majority of boats, this will be on the starboard right side. Mount the transducer cable cover well above the waterline. The transducer should extend 1/8 below fiberglass hull or 3/8 below aluminum hull. Make sure that the transducer is below water level when the boat is on plane at high speed. Do not mount the transducer directly in the path of the propeller. The transducer can cause cavitation that may degrade the boat's performance and damage the propeller. Mount the transducer parallel with the bottom. Apply marine sealant to all screw threads to prevent water from seeping into the transom. If you have multiple motors, the middle of multiple motors is usually the best location. Take note, here you can see the difference between correct installation, and an incorrect installation. The first step, of installing the transducer is to dry fit the transducer, to ensure it's correctly installed. Feel free to use the provided template. Now that you have dry fitted the transducer, we recommended drilling pilot holes. Then, use marine sealant with your screws to secure the transducer. Make sure, to leave ample time to allow it to dry correctly. Then, run your cables to ensure they fit correctly. And add, your ferrite beads.